Good morning from Facebook HQ in Menlo Park, California. It's been a cool couple of days. Uh, I woke up at Chuck's house. Okay, so while Chuck's morning duty is to yeah. feed the tortoises, mine is to build the bike. Come on. Okay, it's taken me about 20 minutes just to get the packaging off. And now there's, oh, there's so many bits and bobs. They're not very technically minded and I don't have any instructions for this, so. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're getting there. Do something new every day, they say. And this is the first time that I've built a recumbent bike from fair scratch. I've also never put a chain on a bike. Obviously there's not one on there, so, so it's not gonna work at all. I've got no idea how to do this, and I figure there's only one way to find out. YouTube. In which case, both ends of the chain here need to be narrow. So it sounds complicated, but it's not. We'll see. I've ridden thousands and thousands of miles, but had so few punctures. I've never really had to work out how a bike works, but Building this one gives me a lot more insight into the into the recumbent, which is nice. It's nice to know your craft. Uh, I, I, I struggle a little bit with, with gears and connecting a chain. So Chuck called up one of his friends, Dave, who is an avid cyclist and usually on a Sunday would be out riding about, but he, he'd hurt his wrist. So luckily he was in and he, he drove over and, uh, and helped put the finishing touches and then had that first moment getting on the bike. And it was, <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I was a bit wobbly. <laughs> and he's off. I didn't know these guys a couple of days ago. Steve took receipt of the bike when it was sent from uh, the Czech Republic. Chuck's looked after me, giving me a place to stay and build the bike. And Dave turned up today. Thank God he hurt his hand because otherwise he'd be out cycling and wouldn't be able to put our chain together. So now we've got a fully functional bike, more or less and uh, ready to ride on. All right. Thanks right. so much, guys. Best of wishes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Good luck. One question. Do you, do you think I'm mad to be doing this trip? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. As per usual, after a few minutes, you know, you, you get used to something and then just get stronger and stronger. So I then rode over to the hotel where myself and the other Facebook community leaders are staying this week. And now we've got a program for the next couple of days. In, uh, in Facebook, doing some leadership training, working out what to do with our communities going forwards. Mine's the Yes Tribe, if you, if you haven't heard about that before. And uh, it's just cool. We, we, we've known each other for, for the best part of a year now, so it's, it's a really friendly environment. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my buddy, Mark Savio from Uganda. Hello. <laughs> I'm about to introduce Mark to the bike. <laughs> It's so comfortable, it doesn't look so, <laughs> so hard to ride. Oh. Is, it, is it a hand cycle? <laughs> I think it, it requires a lot of hard work. I mean, this is cool. We're gonna be in this space all day. So then alongside all of this, I'm just kind of gently thinking about the next few days, planning my route out, working where I'm gonna be riding out of the Bay Area and heading to, ultimately to get to Memphis, 2,200 miles away. I leave on Friday. But in the meantime, there's so much happening here. We, uh, a few of us went down to San Francisco and watched the San Francisco Giants play the Chicago Cubs, my first ever baseball game. And what a stadium Oracle Park in San Francisco is. Just an incredible view. Uh, so, so cool. When they hit a home run, it goes into the water. And then there's a bunch of kayakers waiting for balls to come over the stadium. And they just race to try and gather the ball up. That was awesome. <laughs> Caught up with JB, John Brown, who I met in Memphis on my Mississippi journey, and we've remained strong friends ever since he's over here working for Apple these days. Uh, so always good to see JB. And then hiding my bike in my room. Doing some covert sneaking of a bike into the hotel. If you ask, they'll just say no, so. <laughs> it's in the lift, that's a win. Yes. Guys, thanks for supporting. Of course. <laughs> We're just saying yes. Putting my Ortlieb panniers together and working out what gear I need and probably brought, but don't really need. Yeah, then we've got five weeks of awesome adventure ahead. But in the meantime, I think they're about to start the program. It's such an influential part of the world. You know, all of these companies in Silicon Valley, Facebook and Google and EA and Apple and on and on and on. They all grew up here and have such an impact on how we spend our time, but also communicate with other humans. And 
there's there's such potential for power of good and hope through these platforms and yeah they're misused sometimes but it's really nice kind of getting through the door at Facebook and realizing that everybody here has great intentions you know that they're kind of working with a constantly evolving world and definitely make mistakes but it's nice to see stuff from the inside sometimes and really grateful for that opportunity so back to the program got two days of this and then on Friday afternoon I'm off I'll have a tracking map which pings my location every half an hour or so on my website I'll share the link to that on Facebook every now and then and uh, yeah I'll continue making these little episodes as the journey goes on exciting times be great to get back on the road sleep in the desert and meet lots of cool people okay back to work